All right. So, um, hi guys. My name is Will Russell, and you see me in other YouTube videos. You you probably have heard my voice in other YouTube videos, like my elevator videos and my train videos. But in train, but I'm in, in right now. Right, right right here. I'm in trains plus. And today, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a traffic light intersection. So, other locations, I looking in right here. This is... Here are some traffic lights that are, that I really want to copy down. This is located in, this is uh, Winneka Avenue and Plymouth Avenue, located in Golden Valley, Minnesota. As you can see here. There's just really a bit of a small difference about these two lights right here. They have flashing yellow arrows right here. And and also on the crosswalk. Going to the past self of it, old past version, it only had a green light to it. And a with which is the third light and the yellow light right here, but there wasn't any air there wasn't any flashing arrows yet. But what I actually want to do is copy a light down like this. So that's all I have to do for that. But usually there has to be crosswalks because I'll have to add the crosswalks into looking at the traffic lights of themselves. And yeah. So I'm just going to do it like, so I'll put it back in July of 2011. Here, here's what it looks like in July of 2021. Then we go, and, I, and I actually want it in July of 2011. So if you look in 2021, it looks like this. And back in July of 2011, it looks like this. So let's just get this over with. So I'm gonna teach. So now I'm gonna teach you how to put the traffic lights in. So getting to the A T L S. Uh, Okay, I gotta go to object mode right here. Go to object mode right here. Type ATLS controller. I have another version of lights right here, but I'm gonna put it just like that. It's gonna have four routes. I'm copying on the CSX line, but this is actually in Minnesota, so this is probably going to pretend to be like Minnesota. So, what I'm going to do is put it on channel one, and I'm going to give it four routes and three routes and three phases. First phase, well, one of the phases are going to be like. Here, here are some phases like I put here. I put phase one, go, phase two, go, and phase two, and phase two, go right here on route two, and then I'm gonna put in, in route three. I'll put phase one, go. Finally. We're going to do it to phase three, 
go. So, if you want to do it like that, like mine, that's fine. If you don't, do you can do it any other way. So, that ought to do it. Or if you want to do it four lane, it's okay. You can. I have another traffic light you can make, which is you can probably make it like uh, going up Falling Winneck Avenue even more. You can make Forty Seventh and Winneka, which would be like this, with a. Uh, with a five total of traffic lights here and lights like that too so yeah i'll probably do it in the video of that of that in the future okay back to plymouth avenue and and winneka so Now I have to adjust the seconds. So. Phase one is going to have 60 seconds on this one. I think that other one, I, I think I forgot that the. Note that I, while I was looking at the four-way four, four intersection. It was in New Hope, Minnesota, so that's another one you should know about, so it's much more different. And now we're going to go, this one's going to stay, phase two is just going to stay at 20 seconds. And as for phase three, you can put in 40. I've got to put the 60 seconds on this one. My apologies on this one. And as for the gap delay, it's going to have four seconds. And there you go. Now for the traffic lights, what I like to use, what I sometimes use, I have to type. If you want to go to traffic lights, find some traffic light poles, type, you can find traffic, um, um, traffic signal. First one right here. This will be the main part. I'll have two main parts, but I think I want an L shape. It is gonna have an L shape for sure. But I'm actually gonna put make the L shape look like this. I'll put two L shape, make it an L shape like that. Put it 90 degrees on this one. You can try to put 9.0, 0, 9.0 on this one. And this one is, and as for the other one, zero point zero. And this one. You're going to put it give it a 180.0 I think. Since I find it or you can give it a 2 or anything else like that maybe I'll just give it a 180.0 if I could. 
Well, whatever. Okay, I'll leave, I'll leave it at a 180.2 degrees. And so there you go. And what I also want to put is a holder. Finally, you'll need some traffic, ATLS traffic stoppers. Go back to ATLS, and the traffic lights are in there too. Traffic lights are also in there, so. Let's start off with. A traffic stopper. I'll make one look like this. There you go. This is an easy thing to do with the camera in hand, but... Now I gotta give it... This... The car just appeared. Just appeared. Now for the main intersection, you have to put it like that. Uh, then I have an invisible road under here, by the way, so get rid of this. Oop, I got rid of my two lane road. Whoops. Let's move this out of the way. Now, I need this. Oops. Crazy. Then, you're gonna, and then I'll put this at 90 degrees again. All right, and that's that. And now you got all the traffic stoppers connected. So once you have that done, now you're gonna put in the traffic lights. So, First of all, I'm going to need slaves. So I think I'm probably gonna need to add a little bit more than that. So I don't think I'll need these roads actually. I'm gonna get a one way road. Sorry about the technical issues here, but just gotta stay confident. Oop, not yet. All right, I'm having a little problem here. camera down for a moment. There we go. 
Then you gotta connect the roads, so... What I do... I forgot to tell you, I forgot to say that you gotta connect roads to the traffic stopper, so do it like that. And then... Like that. Now... I need to be like this. And I'm gonna make the roads a little, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make the roads a little longer. Make it more realistic. And there you go. Now, next you're gonna add the traffic light and a slave. So I'm gonna start with the slave first. You need a total of three additional slaves. So I'm gonna find, a, now I need one, two, three of them, like I said. So I'm gonna put the first one This one, this one right here is going to be on Route 1, and the and this one will be on, the second one is going to be on Route 3, and the last one on Route 4. So you're gonna see, you're gonna, I'm gonna put this on channel one, and then this one's gonna be on route one, next one, route three, last one, route four. And they're all gonna be on route one. So there you have it. Sorry, almost dropped the camera. Next, you're going to need now. Get now for the traffic lights. So I'm gonna scroll down a bit. My first traffic light is gonna be like this. Here's one traffic light here. Can see we got one facing south so I'm actually gonna put it up a bit or I can pull hold the shift button it's not easy to hold a shift button like that but so so I'm actually gonna do sorry for the trucks in the picture but let's get into the light Turn the light. Got one light down. You can only do the. I'm just only doing this once. So this, these lights right here are all gonna be are all going to be on route. These lights right here are going to be, I'm going to put, I'm going to be putting these lights on route three. 
So, I'm gonna put the other light in. I'm gonna add one more light. This will be a total of three lights on Route 3. I'm gonna put this up. So I'm going to put a channel one, route three, channel one, channel one, route three, and channel one, route three. There you go. And then there you go. And next, what you're going to do, I'm going to, next what I'm going to do is do route one. Actually, I'll do route four first, so. I'm going to be adding two lights right here. That's how it originally was, so let's just get this over with. Here's one light here. And this is the holder. You'll need the holder, by the way. I forgot to mention that I, ha that I added a holder. So you'll have to type tra traffic signal holder for that. And traffic signal gantry. Just a bit. And these lights right here are all gonna be on route. Let me see what route. Oop. Back. These lights right here are gonna be on route four. So here so I'm gonna put this light right there. Route, channel one, route four. And channel one, route four. There you go. Excuse me. And lastly, uh, the the fun part, I mean the good part. So I'm gonna be adding another traffic light to this holder here. I'm gonna add this traffic light, this light right, this traffic light here is gonna have two holders. I mean two um traffic light um this holder this traffic light holder is gonna have two traffic lights on it. So it's gonna share it. And one is not, so. Oop. Control Z. I got, sorry for my miscommunication. All right, now back to what I was doing. All right, now I gotta make this better. So that pole right there is not gonna be having any traffic lights on this one. It's just gonna have a pedestrian signal. I'll do that in the last, in the finishing touch. So that's that's that for you. That's the... All right. And I'm going to put this right about here. 
I'll do an in-depth barrel crossing f video in the future, so this is just going to be making lights since I... It could be rear crossings on there, but not right now. Now I'm going to be... I'm just... Now for the finishing touch, now for the last two, these ones are going to be on route. This one is... Now we're back to route one, so channel one, route one, so yeah. And as for the last set of lights... It's going to be, for the arrow part, here's the arrow part right here. Here's what you're going to do. As you can see, click this arrow. Or if you want to use red or ambic if tick, that's fine. And that's all you need done right here. For the top three lights, it's going to be on route one also. And the bottom light should be on route two. So, as for the slave, you don't need a route two slave. So, that's a first that you need to know about this. So, here's... And that... So, I'm doing it... So I'm at this this so this light's gonna be at the edge of the end of the gantry part. So I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna be another. Oh, this will be the overhead light. And as the light for the holder, as the light for the holder, you're gonna do the same thing. This might have been a long video, so I'll be done as soon as possible. Here's one more light. You can see this light here is going to be a little bit the same as the other. This is just going to take my time, so same thing, channel one. Top three lights, route one, bottom set, bottom light set, route two. So there you go. All right, getting this done and over with. And as for the finishing touch, you're gonna need the pedestrian signals so what i'm gonna type here if you don't want pedestrian signals it's okay you can just leave it how it is so and i forgot one do one thing all these lights right here i forgot to mention that this light here need all all the i just forgot to do one thing i might I thought I um did the bottom light right here. This light is facing south. I forgot to do that during the video, so my apologies on that one. And if you want, let me adjust this light right here. You gotta make it put it at all these all the bottom lights need to be at two plus two millimeters of of height. So yeah. And finally getting to the pedestrian signals. I forgot to mention about that. So pedestrian signals, P E D. Let's see which one I like. Uh, I think I like... So maybe if we go a little further in the past, you can see there's like, there's a, you can see there's a don't walk right here. There should be a don't walk sign here on all these lights. Oh, so I think I'll have to do it like that. So 
first, what I'm going to do to make it more like, to make it um, more, make, look more like it. Here's one, here's one pedestrian signal here. I'm going to be putting it, so I'm going to, you can, you can make it a total of three. You can do it however you want, but you can tell there's one, you can tell I have, I put one pedestrian signal here with a don't walk sign on there. This is the one that's going to the right. And what I'm going to do for, for the one over here. I'm going to put it to the left hand side of the light. There you go. And finally, all right, for the left hand side. Of the of the light of the light with the arrow and put it in the oh that's the right hand side oh all right. Here are, here's, now you got the holder done. First, what, I, what, what you first had to, what usually you do the whole, you can do the holders if you want to do first, or you can do the gantry lights. So that's all you gotta do for that. Now for the light on, for these, for the route three lights, I'm going to put them here. I'm going to put one going like that. This is one with, I got to put it like that. So, this, they're, they're kind of floating by the way, so, but it's okay if it floats, but yeah. And now we have one more to do. The holder, this holder on the east side, the west side holder ha had two, but this one's only going to have one. So. There you go. Now, so once you have all this light, all this complete, you can... Watch the lights if you want. So, that's all you gotta do for that. So, I'm gonna add an invisible road here. So, to make it more easy. So if you want to visit, now you have all these lights finished. So I just want to do a finishing touch to add a visible road. So yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to save it first. First, then you got, now you got to save your work once you're done. And now enjoy the lights. You can see now we got a red light here for the from the T intersection. 
green arrow had disappeared on this light right here. Very, very nice, huh? You can see we got nice traffic lights in. Let's see if this one turns red first. Very nice. This one could probably turn red any second. Okay, just turn green, which meant that light just turned red. And then these lights turn red. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video or not enjoyed it. It's okay. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll and I'll teach you another one next time. And thanks for watching.